I'm Damon Zell, and this is a breaking news story. In fact, we have two. Now, I know the news video just came out yesterday, but this was developing when that video was being edited. And the first main story we're going to talk about happened yesterday. But before we get to that, if you can tag that subscribe button, ring that bell, share and like the video, then of course you can stay up to date with everything we do here on the channel. Yesterday, massive pings have gone out from Red Sea Space because T Cosmos was staging about 11 camps in their system. Now, it was initially believed that this was retribution against Red Sea for the destruction of one of their longtime allies, Boop, their Rorqual, this past week. To make a long story short, the 11 caps undocked and <clears throat> flew into the system only to be caught in a bubble with forces awaiting. Now, there's multiple videos out right now and multiple threads across Reddit. This was the biggest cap fight to date in EVE Echoes, and it was discussed across multiple Discord forums. And the main key players involved in this was Beast of the South from the Silent Federation, Ret C, and T Cosmos. Now, when I first heard this, it was still a little bit jumbled at the time. I thought there was a massive cap fight going on between Ret C and T, and then I thought Bot 5 actually hot dropped and killed everyone. But I was wrong. Bot 5 was there backing up Ret C, and not only capitals, but also subcaps. This fight raged on for about two hours between two different systems, and at the end of the day, 21 capital ships will have met their end at this battle. That would be 15 on the T Cosmos side, 5 on the Red Sea side, and 1 from Beasts of the South. Now, I will post links to all the videos down below in the description, but let's get into exactly how this occurred. It is a bit of awesome mixed in with a little bit of sadness. I did reach out to Freeman to find out exactly why this all went down. Those of you who do not know, Freeman is the lead FC for T Cosmos. Now I did ask, other than the Reddit posting, was there any official statement from the T Cosmos side? And he replies that not really uh, any yet. And the reason is that our corp has been non-existent for about a month now, and there's not much leadership to give a public statement. If I can consider myself anywhere close to a leader of the Corp, I would say our Corp and Alliance CEO had quit the game for good as of June 2022. Most Corp members left the game for good too, and I went on a honeymoon after a wedding in June. After I came back last week, the Corp was empty, and we all felt that it was really unfortunate to leave the game without using up all the resources we saved up. Then the op was called to bring back some of the AFK players that wants to shoot with their capitals. The name was Operation Quit the Game in Red Sea Space. We then executed the op and took the risk knowing someone, although we don't know exactly whom, may help Red Sea. Uh, we pew pew and we died with satisfaction. Normally I won't say this, but since this is a quit the game op, we probably don't mind. Uh, we'll have round two because there are still some capitals we haven't blown up yet. We'll invite the universe at that event. As to the reason why we wanted to quit the game, it's the lack of new playable content and the stagnant sovereignty situation of the game. The game has too many large blue donuts protecting each other, making small corps like us hard to get content out. We are almost all cap players and there's no place to really use caps in this game due to the political situation and the low overall player count. Very sad, but we just had to give ourselves a reason to move on to more exciting things. I don't know if you really want to share that with the public because it's kind of demoralizing to the community, but I'm here to give you all of it. So this is right from him. Yes, it is sad that the state of the game is the way it is, but it's great to see that they are taking that and using it as fuel to motivate some of their players, even if it is a, you know, quitting the game op. Now on Reddit, there's also a great post by a line member from T, uh, praising Freeman for his ability to make this content for the community. And he goes into how they met up, how they all became friends uh, in and out of the game. Some key takeaways here is as 
Uh, last night we were all proud that we created a massive content for everyone, not being sad or angry on dropping ourselves into the Rhett uh, silent traps and blew up our 14 caps. Because if Rhett C didn't take our party, it would be more sad and boring, which might leave us a, a little more disappointed game uh, end. And moreover, we died and killed and enjoyed that gives us the next expectation of playing this game. Not being salty, but I understand that this is a very rare game content that Silent or anyone would like to share the happy moment. So I'd like to say to Silent and Retsy, hope you all enjoyed and felt happy that the tea guys brought you this. So there you go, that's everything that happened yesterday on that Mass Effect. We're going to recap this again in the uh, next update news video that I put out at the end of the week. Uh, but for the second story is that it's official that Terran Federation is no more. Hostilities flared up again a few days ago between Silent and Terran Federation over a breach of peace terms, which included, but not limited to, roaming in their space with the legend people. Now this was not just line pilots, this was uh, senior leadership of Terran Federation joining in on those rooms, as well as the retaking of system TPG before the deadline set forth by Silent. And due to this, Silent in force had come back to cash to Terran Federation space and put multiple passes as well as citadels into timers. This is also due to the fact that the new alliance that Legend Corp had made, Apes, the mobile infantry, seems to be in name only a offshoot of Terran Federation. So they view that as a work around the peace treaty. They view it as Silent View's mate, their pirate offshoot and mercenary outfit. Due to these facts, the peace treaty was nullified and hostilities flared up, breaking Terran Federation into multiple factions. PHPC had dropped and sorry, had transferred executive hold of the alliance over and then dropped Terran Federation. Two new alliances were formed off of this as well. One ESCA, Extra Solar Colonial Administration. And I'm not sure what the other one was, but that one was formed by dues from JTS. So it was decided that you had multiple paths if you wanted to uh, move forward. You can join one of the two alliances who were already dealing with Silent to negotiate separate peace treaties. You could break off and do your own thing, or you could possibly join the mobile infantry in the north to fight Silent. I, am myself personally, have dropped out of Terran Federation, dropped out of PHPC. I will be remaining friends with all the people I've played with. However, this will now lead me to a new path and to start again another chapter. However, the new alliances are also facing their own troubles currently, as the peace talks go from good to all of cash will burn. Now, the ESCA is trying to negotiate with Silent to secure this space for their pilots, and they are being 100% transparent with their members to show them exactly what's going on. They don't want to hide anything. They do not want any hostilities towards Silent. They just want to continue on in a peaceful coexistence. One of the key points to this new alliance being made is that Silent has final say on which corporations can join that alliance. Regardless of what happens, I wish everyone well and to have a fun existence in New Eden. And I do want uh, to let it known that uh, if silent leadership is watching this, please do not take it out on them. My reporting on this, my investigative uh, meaner of getting the information for the stories should bear no ill will towards uh, any war tidings of the alliances. And those are your two breaking news stories. I'll see you guys again later this week with another news video, as well as an opinion piece again on with that 1000 AUR event does actually lead to RMT. Until then, remember, we're always one vision, one purpose, one front. Have a great week.